The Situation Room. Hello. Hello. Joe Biden. Oh, thank you, Mr. Vice President. Your call is to be convened. The same way that I predict the fraction of Batkivshina and the fraction of Summer Pomach leave the coalition. And in the coalition, left less than 226 votes. So we do not have a majority. I personally, together with the Prime Minister, asked Radical Party Veshko to join the coalition that formally we can keep the legitimacy. But we don't have neither legitimacy in the parliament nor in the, in the public uh, in the country. And so if I understand this correctly, there was a no confidence vote. You blocked the no confidence vote, so our city is still there. But then there was a vote on the on, on the package that the government had uh, put forward, and that 247 voted against that. So in terms of moving forward with additional reforms and additional things you need to do, you don't have a coalition to do that? Is that what you're telling me? It, look, uh, not exactly. So, uh, first, he gave an assessment voting in the parliament, and parliament gave a negative uh, report to the, to the activity of the cabinet of ministers. That was the first thing. Uh, this is not I, I, immediately follow the, uh, or means the resignation, but this is just a political estimation. Then, when it put the confident vote, me organized that uh, in my fraction and in other fraction it was not enough vote. Also, Prime Minister works for that for sure, but I uh, blocked the, uh, the re resignation of the government because I promised to leave. Just because. But now, when two fraction uh, from four, two fraction from four, leave the coalition, we do not have a majority. Hello? Yes? Yes, one moment for Vice President Biden. Thank you. Introducing President Poroshenko. Hey, Mr. President. Very good to hear you. Mr. Good to hear you. By the way, uh, you know, uh, um, you and I have talked about this a lot before. I guess Monday is the second anniversary. Remember, I'm counting on you to be the, the founding father of the modern Ukraine. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. And I think that the, this is message is very important. I just want to be a little bit more accurate. Uh, so, we have no doubt that we should intensively implement the reform. But we should implement the reform with the way that people trust them. Because if people do not trust the reform, this reform is impossible to implement. This is point number one. Point number two, jo we do not have a majority in the parliament. That is the main uh, message. Uh, do, you, is, do you, you have make, a majority? You can make any calculation, uh, uh, but... Uh, with the radical party? I, ha I have uh, in my party, uh, in my fraction, 136 members of parliament, and from them 16 are ready to write down the uh, statement for going out from the coalition. He has 81. So, altogether, this is 201, and we have lack of more than 20 votes. And even if Lashko can return or not return or going like that, we do not have a physical majority. This is the case. For the, well, how did for, you get the reforms passed just this week? Say it again. How did you get the reforms passed this week related because, to the IMF? Because, because I ask personally that fraction who go out from the coalition, I mean Samapomich and Timoshenko. That was my special meeting with them. They give me a message that because of the trust to you, Mr. President, we vote 
for the IMF and for the visa free and for the anti-corruption, but we do not vote just because of the person of the prime minister. And that is, his, that, uh, that is their message. And that's why I'm very happy that we are strong enough and brave enough and lucky enough actually to have these changes now, but we should have an intensive negotiation how to find out the way how to return these fractions back to the coalition. But the demonstrate that the, everything is okay, people are happy, we have a majority in the parliament, this is not true. The other fraction we can invite, that they, but they speak only with the language of the political corruption. And I hate the idea to, after the Maidan, to buy the votes. Poroshenko? Yes. One moment for Vice President Biden. <laughs> Introducing President Poroshenko. I, I know you're working hard, but what is your latest plan for a new government? I've heard uh, from my team you're now looking at a government led by uh, Grossman, the speaker, and uh, and uh, also that uh, that uh, um, just in the past uh, uh, day or so, uh, um, uh, I'm not sure the exact timing, but uh, just very recently uh, you had uh, Juresco on a Facebook page talking about wanting to uh, consider being prime minister uh, uh, with a technocratic government. And I know you need 226 votes for whatever you do. Tell me about what's going on, if you're willing. It was my key priority to avoid early parliamentary election. The new coalition or restore coalition should be pro-European and reform-oriented. Karnopomich received my proposal about the technocratic government of Yaresko and to join coalition because the reason of the political crisis is that the three fractions, Samopomich, Batkivshina, Timoshenko and Leshko, go out from the coalition and we left together with the prime minister in a minority. The, I invite Samopomich and propose them to either to support Yarieska or to propose the, his leader as a next prime minister. They said that they are ready to, uh, they take some time, and they, after a few days they say that they are ready even just to start negotiation about possible coalition, but not to be member of coalition, just vote for that. I said this is not, not possible under our constitution. This is impossible. They should sign up personally their, their membership in coalition. And they put, even for that, three preconditions. Point number one, changes or resignation of the general prosecutor, which I said, which has already happened because uh, I sent the, the resignation letter to the parliament, and now it is in the parliament, it should be done uh, immediately. Second, the changes in the Central Election Commission. I said, I don't understand why Central Election Commission is part of the coalition when we don't have an election, but okay. I'm ready to change the Central Election Commission. But the third, they say, we want to change the election law. I said, no, because I'm completely against the early parliamentary election. And the changes in the election legislation will be stimulated for you, for Timoshenko, the early parliamentary election, and this is completely unacceptable for me. They said that without this uh, election law, which is no connection, they do not open even discussion about the coalition membership. And without some homage, with the rejection of Timoshenko and uh, Leshko, we don't have for Yereska 226. As far as I understand, the uh, our partners and our American friends has a significant influence on the Sama Pomich leaders. And I asked uh, Pablo to call Tori, and I asked uh, 
to contact ambassador, maybe to increase the pressure and to support uh, Yarieska candidacy uh, by some pomoč. Uh, two hours ago, immediately after the face uh, uh, book message of Yareska, I call uh, Sadovi once again. Unfortunately, he staying somewhere in Europe for the holiday, and he said that uh, he is not in a position to uh, to support Yareska and to give now uh, any positive answer. And this is in the situation when uh, our U United States partners give grants to Sama Pomic and give him the significant financial support. So that situation, I hate the idea to keep uncertainty anymore. And now, uh, on, in my building, I have a Yatsenyuk, and uh, we launching, we, we starting negotiation on other candidacy. So if Samopomic return, we're ready to support Yariska. But if it would be no Samopomic, uh, we now start discussion about Groisman. You remember Groisman, during your very famous and beautiful speech in the parliament, you have a discussion with him. Uh, no, I remember. Yeah. Just one minute for Vice President Biden. Thank you. Introducing President Poroshenko. Now I have, and I think we can trust each other, the uh, party of Arseni together with me. They were together during the voting of the general prosecutor, voting of the government, voting of, voting of the IMF, and I hope we have a significant level of support. Unfortunately, this is not fully enough. This is almost majority in the parliament. And those who go to the United States, Samopomic, uh, Timoshenko, and Leshko, who do not go there, for different reasons, completely against that. Because this is the political reason. This has nothing to do with the essence of the, uh, of the agreement. This is just a dirty political trick. And that's what yeah. I'm asking uh, from the Jeffrey. Please do not give the grants to the Samopomic. Do not give them the money. Because this is not a financing for the opposition party. This is the financing of the absolutely irresponsible political leader who is doing very bad things for the future of my country and for the Ukraine, for the security and for the stability. That's, I think, first of all, I am completely satisfied with the messages they received in Washington. They were quite strong and quite decisive. Yeah. I think that, that, would, that would be a good idea if you continue to have a press on summer pomage, because if Leshko and Timoshenko, this is a loss on summer pomage, because you, have, you support them, in that situation they could give a positive response, because without summer pomage, we cannot even expect any positive things on the constitutional thing. Thing just. Okay, all right. Well, look, that would be impossible, I, 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 because if I can count on me with a law, election law, I can find out the votes. Without some appointment, I cannot find out the votes uh, on the constitutional changes. This is very simple. All right. We, we, we will do everything to help you to get the votes. Mr. President, my friend, I'm not going to ask how you are, but I hope you're well. Uh, <laughs> I'm always feeling well, Mr. Vice President, when I'm speaking with you. I understand that, that the Minister of Economy, whose name I can't pronounce, I apologize. Yeah, Abramovich. I, I learned it for, after three months of work, of his work in the government. I understand that other cabinet members signed on to it, didn't they? Or did they? No, no, no. I don't know. 
may, maybe it's something happened, but I don't know what any other cabinet members is signed. But the, uh, I doubt that it, it is happening, but the, uh, the statement of the uh, Abramovichus was very dangerous. From my, from my point, I never said it publicly, but from my point, it was extremely irresponsible. But it's happened, and I make immediate meeting with him after his statement and said, look, you representing me, president, it was me who invite you in the country. It was me who support you all the time. It was me who give you, in a violation of law, the security guard from the secret services, for you not afraid of anything. It was me who insisted and support all your initiatives. I give you Ukrainian citizenship. And you still have my full support. Let me ask you one thing before I forget. Pravat Bank. Um, uh, I understand uh, the, uh, the, uh, the governor of the bank is... Uh, is tentative about setting a date certain for the transition to take place. And I'm being told secondhand that, I don't know if this is her position for sure, that she is unsure of a date until she gets an agreement from you. I told, here's what I've told them. I've told them to get back to her and set a date and I would talk to you about the date. Um, because this is getting very, very close. What I don't want to have happen, I don't want Trump to get in the position where he thinks he's about to buy onto a policy where the financial system is going to collapse and he's going to be looked to to pour more money into Ukraine. That's how he'll think about it before he gets sophisticated enough to know the detail. So anything you can do to push the, the, the Pravat Bank uh, um, to closure so that the IMF loan comes forward, I would respectfully suggest is critically important to your economic as well as physical security. I know it's difficult. I know Kolomorsky is a pain in the ass and a problem for everybody, but, um, but it really is critical that, uh, that, that, that we, you guys figure this one out. And you've been good. You've, you've publicly spoken out as I've asked you to do. You've done that. I just want you to give the, uh, what was she called, the commissioner, the governor, the, the, the governor of the bank, give her some spine, uh, let her know that you're going to be standing there um, when she sets a date and moves forward. This is very important what I hear from you, and uh, I think that, that on the 22nd of, of November, on, on uh, Tuesday, I will have a final report from Ernst & Young audit. And we agreed that me, Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, Governor, I invite Arseni and our uh, security officers should meet and make a decision about the date. Uh, the only reason I have after 22nd, when I have an audit report, we have a uh, voting of the budget in the parliament where Skolomoisky has a significant number of members of parliament. And the prime minister asked me to vote budget first and then launching the process. This is the confidential information, but... Uh, I, I, I will keep that with me. I, I will keep that with me.